I'm barely here. I don't know how much longer I can I can stay here. You know, the Grim Reaper came to me. He said, John, come here. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could I have a little more time? Now, there's some things I gotta do. Come on, come on, man, give me a break. John, we don't give these things. You don't gotta jail, get out of jail card or free on this, on this kind of thing. You understand what I'm saying, John? Yeah, yeah, I get it. But listen, no, it's important. I've got one good thing I gotta do before I go. I mean, you want might want to check this out with Mr. Big. I think he'll give me a pass on this. But if if you could if you could just see your way through this, I think you'll what it is is this. I'm the only guy on the planet that I know of. It's not to say there aren't any others, but the only one that I know of, to be honest that has got the chemistry and physics of the homeopathic remedy figured out. And I gotta find some way to get this in, inserted into the Vox Populi, the, uh, the literature, the, the index. You know, the, the, big, the big one, I, I, I've gotta, I gotta land this within the mind of man so it doesn't get lost because this is very important. I think. I mean, I've been looking at this for years. They say there's there's nothing to it. That is being that there's no known explanation for the action of these materials. We don't have any physics. And if you can figure it out, John, you get the Nobel Prize. I don't know how many times I've heard that. You get the Nobel Prize. Well, first of all, I'm not disavowed of that. Of, of thinking that I'll get the Nobel Prize. I mean, that's bullshit. Nobody's going to give me the Nobel Prize. I doubt whether they'll even remember my name. You know, the first thing they'll do is go erase everything by John Bennett that they can find. There's a lot of people out there that really don't want to be known. They don't want the chemistry of the homeopathic grammar to be known. But it's pretty simple and it's pretty square, except for one part. And that's the expanding electron. I still haven't exactly found any corroborating literature on that. And also that the electron is a particle. I haven't found any anything that proves that either. I think it's a fractal. I think it's all connected. At some level, it's all connected. There's really not, I was gonna say there's no space in between, but if you can imagine that there's empty space, then there's empty space. I mean, why not? You can have that too. I was going to say that, you know, the consciousness of God fills everything. But that would mean that the consciousness of God could imagine nothing. Nothing at all. So that's like a bubble, isn't it? And around that idea of nothing, structure forms. Structure being the, the fundamental element of being, the ontological primordial structure, not particle, structure. And if I can get this across to people and see how that plays out into immunology, then I've really done something. And that's really what I want to do before I die. Mr. Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper. Oh, he wants to know who my friends are out here. Uh, I'll tell you about that later. So anyway, that's, that's what I want. I'd like to hang in there a little longer. So anyway, I was, um, came across this, this, uh, started playing with anagrams. And, uh, yesterday I did the anagram for, let loose the anagram for <laughs> Barack Hussein Bar Obama. He is Mabus, no arc. A cab. And what does it mean? Well, Mavis is kind of a, a Nostradamus quatrain that was the name of some character in Nostradamus quatrain about the end, about end times, presumably. I mean, this is nothing. I mean, this is a lot of extrapolation from that. But it goes, when, when Mavis dies, then 
the world comes to a screeching halt or something like that. I don't, I don't remember what it was specifically. Maybe somebody could look that up and post it in the dialogue, the uh, discussion. In the lower hand, right hand, the lower part of your screen. And by the way, if you want to say anything, I'd really appreciate hearing it. I really enjoy a, a commentary or discussion. It's been really nice lately. Usually I just get pounded. Used to get pounded a lot. 20 years of being pounded. But just as in the, doing these videos, I've found that the uh, people are a little more amiable towards me. Those who haven't unsubscribed. <laughs> losing followers on Twitter every time I put up one of these videos I lose more followers on Twitter I don't know maybe it's just a coincidence maybe everybody's losing followers I sure certainly hope so so anyway I've been playing with these, these anagrams and that was the anagram that for Barack Hussein allowed so today I was thinking well, what's the anagram for Donald Trump and it's um there's a couple hundred actually. I mean, some of them don't make a lot of sense, but the ones that, the ones that I've been looking at that I like is the one I like is not lard dump. <laughs> Rearrange the letters in in Donald Trump, and it spells not lard dump. Or I didn't write this down, but I can remember what it was. Turd land mop. <laughs> Donald Trump in other letters, using the same letters in Donald Trump, will, will spell not, will spell turd land dump. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot, Don. Yeah, we can, you know, he was talking about shithole countries. People from shithole to some shit. You're from some shithole country. I mean, he introduced that into the lexicon, the political lexicon. Thank you very much, Don. Thank you for doing us this little thing there. And so I think it's 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 just retribution to find that it, the letters in Donald Trump spell not <laughs> spell turd land dump. I have a T-shirt that made it keep America not keep America. Keep saying not. Keep America land turd dump. Turd land dump. Have a hat. Keep America turd land dump. <laughs> and t-shirts. Speaking of t-shirts, I want a t-shirt. I want to make a t-shirt that says free will on it. You know, I, I've got this thing about proving free will. You can't prove free will. In fact, let me read you some of the stuff that I wrote about that. It's, it's like poetry. You'll love it. You will, you really will. Okay, yeah. I've suddenly become pur purposeful and don't care what others, what others may think of my abhorrent behavior. What? Who has proof of free will? Let the fool come before me now and tell me what he knows. Let the dialectic roll. I don't care what others may think. I ask my own questions and I get my own answers. Let the dialectic roll. Let the dialectic roll. Let the dialectic roll. Let, 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 let the dialectic roll. You know what a dialectic is, don't you? I mean, maybe a lot of people don't know what a dialectic is. Dialectic is where you start asking questions. You know, if you if if you have proof for free will, I want to see it. Who has proof for free will? Can you prove free will? Can you prove free will? That's the question of the day. Well, I'm sorry. That's the best I've got. So I'll talk to you later. <laughs>